Hi, I'm Viorica. I have created a yoga ballet fusion class based on yoga exercises and poses and a lot of breathing and also based on some ballet basic exercises like plie tendus and balances in order for dancers to be able to get the benefits of both. I was introduced to the breathing and concepts of yoga in my late 50s and I want to thank my teacher, my yoga teacher, yoga uh, teacher Lisa Hall, who has been with me for a long time and whom I appreciate greatly for introducing to me the principle of honoring my body, which I try to also teach to my ballet students these days. Honoring my body and listening to my body was an alien concept to me. As a ballet dancer, I was uh, taught how to demand of my body, how to abuse my body, but never how to listen to my body. And the more I do that, the better my body behaves. And believe me, as we get older, all of us need to listen to our bodies. I try to teach that to all my students. And I would recommend it as you take this class, if you take it at home, whether you're a ballet dancer in, or in need for balancing and breathing exercises, or you're a yoga uh, that practices yoga and not ballet, I want you to pay attention to your breathing and I want you to pay attention to your body because as Lisa says, I don't get your messages. You do, your body sends you messages all the time. So without further ado, we're gonna start the first exercise that I'm gonna do. It's a breathing exercise and it's called in yoga, the mountain pose. Mountain pose is all about posture, alignment, and balance. It's also about breathing. So I am gonna tell you that the yoga breath starts in the lower abdomen, goes up to the chest, and goes down back in the lower abdomen. So I am gonna to try to close my eyes or defocus and focus on my breath coming from my lower abs to the top. and from the top down. The arms should be relaxed, the weight should be in the center of the feet, and the shoulders should not move. Try to keep the posture as tall and in two directional as possible. Sometimes we do this in yoga, pressing the thumbs into the heartbeat so that we can lower the heartbeat and calm our breathing. This is a very helpful exercise. I'm going to go right into sun salutation sequence. Arms go up on the inhalation. Exhale as you swan dive. Feet are in parallel. Flat back. Release, you can bend the knees and then roll through your spine back into the mountain pose. We're going to repeat this. Arms up on the inhalation, shoulders are down. Exhale. Flat back. Release and roll through. We're going to take a moment to reestablish our breath and posture. We're going to continue with sun salutation and the breath. Inhale on the arms up. You can elongate the front a little bit and take a back bend. Swan dive. <laughs> right leg goes back. Left leg goes back to plank position. We're gonna lower. Come into a high or low cobra. Go back into child pose. Get attacked by our cat. Right leg forward. Left leg forward. 
and come up. Swan dive. Halfway up. Low. Left leg goes back. Right leg goes back. Plank position. Lower. Low or high cobra. Breathe. Pull back. Child pose. Relax the neck. Left leg goes front. Right leg goes front. Come up and check your heartbeat. We're going to add the ballet fusion. We're going to do plies on this sun salutation sequence. Demi plie. Demi plie. Up and over. Right leg, left, plank, lower, child pose, right, left, demi, demi, over, left. Right, lower, cobra, and we can take a moment in child pose. Back to the mountain pose, reestablishing the breath, and doing a similar sun salutation with a turnout. So we're gonna go into first position. For the balance purposes, I'm going to step a little bit forward. I'm going to be in front of the mat because the balance is easier. You can be on the mat or you can be on the floor. And the plies are going to be pretty much the same with the grand plie included. So here comes. Demi plie. As deep as you can. Demi plie. Inhale, exhale. And the grand plie. This is your balance, first balance of the day. Bend over, relax the neck. Take a demi plie and roll through. Try to keep the shoulders as low in your body as possible. We'll repeat this demi plie, demi plie. This is your calf muscle stretch. Grand plie, this is a quad and a balance. That's your exhalation. Bend over. Relax the neck. Demi plie. Tuck it under and roll through. Back to parallel. <clears throat> so the demi plie is gonna go from here in, back into the plank and we're gonna introduce a very famous pose, downward dog. Demi plie, rise with the arms, extend, swan dive. Right leg back, left leg back. Press down, come up into half cobra, baby cobra or full cobra and then roll your toes under and come up into a downward dog nice and slow on the exhalation breathe right leg goes up comes forward Left leg, go up. Feet under your hips, demi plie, inhale. 
exhale, we'll do this same sequence on the left. Keep the shoulders wiggling your body. Left leg goes back, right, plank position, breathe, half cobra or full. You can also do an upward dog. That means your knees are off the floor. Toes roll under. The weight should be even between your hands and your feet and your back should be completely flat. Left leg goes up. Right. Come up. Inhale. Exhale and relax your breath. The next sequence is gonna be very similar, but this is where the ballet fusion kicks in. And trying to keep the same breathing awareness, we're gonna have this, instead of a runner lunge, we're gonna have it a little bit of a ballet stretch. Again, be very careful with this. You can use a block if you know the concept of lifting your arms. I don't have a block, so I'm gonna do the best I can. Start with your breath. Inhale, exhale. Lift, swan dive. You can have your knees slightly bent, this is always good. We're gonna send the left leg back this time in the uh, runner lunge. Try to align your back to the neck. The weight should be a little bit in your hands, but mostly in your legs. If you turn out the front leg, all my ballet dancers will understand, dancers will understand this. You can use your elbow to press into your leg and feel your hip opening. It's a hip opener and an excellent strengthening stretch exercise. If you can keep the back leg off the floor, great. If not, you can put your knee down and lower into your elbows. You're gonna notice that your leg is being pushed sideways. Depending on how low it can go, be very aware of how it feels in here and honor your body. Take a couple of breaths. Relax your shoulders, smile if you can. Turn it in, lift up into a lunge, put your palms down, take back to a flat plank, lower. Try to keep your elbows as close as possible to your body. We're gonna go into a high cobra, child pose. Right leg, left leg, rise. And we'll repeat exactly the same on the left. Swan dive. Make sure your knees are not super straight. Send your right leg back. This is your left leg forward. Turn it out. And start gently by pressing your elbow into your leg, into your calf. The back leg is stretching. The front leg is forcing your hip open. Keep breathing and gently lower yourself. Couple of breaths. Come up. Turn it down. 
left, take the leg back, plank, lower, cobra, child pose. Left leg, right leg, left to neck, and do super slow roll through. Back to the mountain pose, and taking a breathing break. The next sequence is yoga but in my opinion, it is also very much ballet. It's the sequence of the three warriors, warrior one, warrior two, and warrior three, which is the hardest balance besides the dancer pose in yoga. So I'm gonna start this way. You already know how you're going from the front of the mat all the way down and get into a lunge. This is gonna be similar, a little bit different. So here it goes. Inhale on the arms, up. Exhale. We're gonna send the left leg back, align the back. And we're gonna place the back foot with the heel down at 45 degree angle. Ideally, the front foot is right in the center of your back foot. As you rise up, you have a warrior one. The alignment should be neck, spine, and pelvis in one line. Also, the knee should never pass your toes, so it's not beyond this. Front leg is very strengthening, and the back leg is stretching. If you turn your body against your hips, you end up with warrior two. Warrior two has different positions. This is one. This is reverse warrior. We're not doing those. Going back to warrior one, and then the warrior three, I'm gonna go in a sequence of coming up into what we call a B plus. I'm gonna lower the arms. It's a B plus in ballet, for anybody who doesn't know ballet. And I'm gonna lift this leg as we lower the body. We call this a panche in ballet. It's a balance. You can go as low as possible, but your body and your leg are in one position. And we recover. Your arms go down. And I put everything, we repeat on the left. Arms up, swan dive, this leg goes back, place your heel down, check on your angle right now, come up, warrior one, breathe, relax the shoulders, alignment is important, the weight should be even awareness, even between the front foot and the back foot. If you turn your torso, this is your warrior two. Let's go quickly to the sequence. Forward and back. Back to warrior one. And in two steps, to warrior three. You might notice the difference between one leg and the other. It's always one is stretchier, the other one is stronger. We take a little break right here for breathing. The next sequence is gonna be a couple of balances. I'm gonna do 
a triples. The triples for ballet dancers is a passe. On a turning parallel position, turning parallel has many benefits. So I'm gonna use it as yoga. We can always turn out the, the standing leg. So the triples in yoga, depending on how much your hip can open, goes from up on top of your knee joint here to a lower or a passe or right here at the way we do it in, in ballet. You can have your arms in ballet positions or you can have your arms in a three position. Whatever you have, you're balancing. And even though you're not on point or even demi point, this is a balance. So this is on the right side. You can go into a quad stretch and from here into a dancer, which I already asked Francesca to demonstrate and you have a picture of her. And then the same thing we did on this side, we're gonna do on the left. So I have a three pose either here or lower or even on the floor. That's still a balance and you get benefit from it or a passe. On a parallel, more or less, with your arms, wherever you feel comfortable having them. Don't forget to breathe. And then we're gonna go down on the floor And finish this sequence with a little bit of a torso spinal twist so you can bring your knee into your chest you can bring it here and twist against it or you can go in a full yoga twist and breathe on it One side, exactly the same, repeat on the other side. Or if this is comfortable, use it. And then you can finish with the ballet stretch if that's comfortable for you. Coming up and over and relax and breathe. And I thank you, namaste.